got to do is basically three um, rubber dampers hold on with bolts that you need to undo two at the back and one at the front here which I've already removed which is there um, so what you need to do is support the diff with a jack uh, undo these bolts they might be a bit seized to so try and get a load of penetrating oil onto them and a little bit of heat but just be careful careful of the rubbers and you've got to undo these and then we've got to fit um, our spacers on top two 21 mil spacers at the back and then on this one here show it you need a 15 mil spacer um, but i think what i'll be able to do is undo take one bolt out fit the spacer and then um remove the next one, fit the space, so we've always got a bolt in, but obviously we've got a jack support in it as well. Okay, here are my spacers, um, two 21 mil. Obviously you've got to have a hole in the middle for the bolt. Really, they should be about 67 mil diameter. These are actually only about 50 mil, but it shouldn't really matter. And then we've got a 15 mil spacer that fits through the one at the front. Okay, I've removed, removed this bolt here and the associated uh, rubber bush. Um, we've just lowered it down enough, so that's basically where your spacer wants to sit. And then we bolt it back together. Um, one thing you might find is that the bolts, original bolts, aren't long enough, which is normally the case. So you have to buy some longer bolts from Volkswagen. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the part numbers for these bolts actually in the description of the video. Um, okay, that's the original bolt. That's the new longer bolt, which you'll see is about 20 mil longer. Okay, once all the spacers are in place, it's just a matter of retightening the bolts to support the diff. Now what this means is the diff is sat slightly lower so the drive shafts won't run at such an acute angle when we actually um, lift, put the spacers in above the springs to actually lift the chassis 